video. This is all about you. So good to be back with you guys checking in. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Let's see what's going on. I'm not putting dates on the videos anymore because um, people have been people have been leaving comments on videos I've made in August. So I, I think, okay, no more dates. So this is definitely for a week, week and a half out, but whenever you see this is the right time. However, if you want to get my videos fresh off the press, please subscribe to the channel, help the channel grow, um, and ring that bell so you'll get notified because I upload a new video for Scorpios every single week. And there's always an extended reading. So this is an oracle card reading, an energy reading. So wherever Scorpio influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next week, week and a half, whenever you're seeing this video. But there's an additional video that extends this reading, personalizes it, and sort of articulates it and includes a romance reading. And that is the extended video. The link is in the description box and in the comments below. So check that out, Scorpios. So this is an energy reading. We're just going to like the cumulative energies for Scorpios for this coming week. Scorpio. 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 Nice. Scorpio. I think you're finding a treasure in a trash heap. I think you're figuring out how to redeem something. Almost like getting a piece of yourself back that was lost. Figuring out like how to brush it off or that it's actually worth cleaning up and brushing off. Maybe something that you gave up on a long time ago. Time to let go. Nice. This is a beautiful energy because this is essentially you. This is groundhog. Time to let go is crowning your energy. You're ready now to liberate yourself and free yourself from something that has been holding on you and nagging at your heart. Literally something that has been eating away at your heart. Now this could be, and I feel this is in the context of continual ma manipulation, of extended manipulation, but it could just be something that was hurting you. It could be like self-manipulation or emotional karmic manipulation, a kind of manipulation that is energetic, something like not necessarily not as direct as somebody putting a curse on you not like that um though it, in some extreme cases i don't say that that's not a possibility but in this in this general case it's more like it's been it's been it's been sort of like like you know sometimes those viruses like you ever heard did you ever hear of this viruses will get into your brain and they will uh, sort of reprogram your brain to work for it it's like they can like get into a certain kind of fly and make it drown itself so that they can eat off of it or something like that it's it's almost like there has been been something that's sort of taken over you and been feeding slowly on your heart for quite some time and for some reason you got attached to it you almost thought it was a part of you you mistook what it wanted for what you wanted and there is a time now Scorpio where you are just no I'm done it's 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 not like that burning down the whole village kind of energy that we have. no this is you just being almost like a wake-up period of I'm ready to let that part of me drop away I'm ready to let this go, to let this concept of who I am, to let this concept of what I need, to let this person who is continuously manipulating, it's almost like you could have just woken up and realized that there was manipulation because for a long time, it wasn't something that was sort of front and center. It was something that you were working so hard to work on that you got caught up in your contributions and how you were doing and how it, were you successful? Were you being successful? Were you doing enough? And you did not, you sort of allowed it to continue to feed off your energy and eat off of that essence of, of, of you trying hard. Meanwhile, was this even something that you really wanted? Was this an idea that you had in your head from the beginning? 
or was it a, a something that was sort of sort of planted there, seeded there into your head? And you now are ready to let go, to say goodbye, to you've woken up, this is an awakening. It's a realization. Three plus one is an energy of four. So there's grounding, there's rooting to you, rooting roots under your feet. You're not going to sway anymore. There's something that you've let go of. Now, it could be as something you're going to get let go of a relationship. You could be ready to let go of a relationship, ready to let go of a long-term manipulation. But you could also be ready to let go of the concept, oh, I'm a player, yo. You know, I only I only like getting this or getting getting that or you know only one night stands. You could be letting that go because you could be waking up and realizing that like that could be the mentality that you're letting go because you're waking up and realizing it. I, I'm not happy. This doesn't suit me, and I've held on that for I've held on to it for a long time because it made me feel strong. It made me feel powerful. It made me feel. Um, full when I was empty, but now it's done. It's over. You don't need that crutch anymore. So it could be something like that as well, but now you are ready. That That's the energy that's crowning you this week is that you're ready now to just let it, let it go. Let's see what comes next. Be peace. So this is a balancing out Libra energy two plus one. This is a message from spirit connecting with spirit and awakening. Um, getting back that sense of yourself and stabilizing, healing, health, being happy, making peace and letting go in peace, not letting go in rage or war like we were doing a month ago or burning down the place. Like I said, no, this is bringing a sense of balance into the situation, bringing a sense, letting a sense of peace kind of come over you and therefore being able to really let go because the way that you really let go is it's not in hatred it's not in revenge it's in i'm done and it's over so this is a release and a freedom almost a liberation um it's also love i can say that right now this is be peace a, a new but it's like a new relationship with love it's a new sense of what this is when i say i'm in love um, I picked up a little bit, bit of this on your romantic tarot too. Please go watch that. I'm going to, I'm going to attach the link above. Be fearless and bold. This is Aries energy. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries. I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra, but this could be this energy of, um, just being, being really, uh, it, the level of courage that it needs to take to move yourself from a state of what you used to do, what was a habit and what you considered reality to what you are now creating reality as. This is being that cardinal energy of making progress and moving forward. This could be a sense of making peace. It could You could be making peace with an Aries in your life. You could be making peace and finding love with an Aries in your life. You could be letting an Aries go in peace, finding that balance so that it could be easier for the two of you to walk your separate ways when war and rage and, and conflict was something that kept you together always, there's a sense of stabilization in your relationship, whatever this new length of your relationship is. But this could also be you, a sense of self, a firm sense, once again, four, right? And that's the energy crowning you too, is three plus one is four. You're letting go of your old sense of self or what you used to hold on to to feel strong, which with when it comes to Aries, and you're still very influenced by Mars as well, it's war. It's 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 I'm gonna get it. It's it's um determination, it's it's battle, it's physicality, this sense of of taking all of that and making peace with it. This is peace, not war. This is peacetime, not wartime. Overcome any obstacle, the energy of five. So you're changing. This is a change. This is a mental change. I was watching a video the other day, Scorpios, and it was saying how, you know, when we first make a change, it hurts us and immediately we get scared and we, we, it, it, it feels uncomfortable. And so we think, oh, it's wrong. I need to go back to where I was. No. And so many times that's why we get lost in the same old patterns and our world doesn't change because change initially actually feels 
wrong. But this is you understanding and feeling that ground under your feet and having weight to your character. This is Taurus energy, bulldozing through and changing. Because guess what? Even if the wall crumbles on your head, this is a sense of being prepared for it, having the protection, having the strength, and having the fortitude to keep walking through because the wall needs to come down. Yes, you are overcoming what kept you in prison. You're overcoming this fear. You're overcoming this obligation, this manipulation, this winding around you that somebody else had. It's it's almost like you're in a butt blur right now because of the fact that you don't recognize where you are and you are uncomfortable, but there's a faith that's connected to this discomfort of, I just have to keep moving forward. I'm not going back. Um, be playful. This is your central energy. Five plus one is six energy of love. Be shallow, um, playing, skipping, skipping, being happy, staying on the surface. You have let go of this sense of being dragged down, being burdened, being held under in the underworld, realizing that you don't have to stay in the underworld, that you are actually allowed to be happy and be loved and have fun and feel free and feel safe. There's a huge opening up of you, almost like I can feel safe to share my emotions. I'm in a place where I, I'm happy with who I am. I'm happy with the emotions that I'm feeling. I'm, I'm proud of them and I stand by them. I don't have to fear or have fear of being exposed or being vulnerable. Keep me where I used to be. I have a right to be free and be happy and be playful. This is a sense of air air energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, um, um, a Libra. There's two Libra energies. This is more Aquarius energy, energy, to be honest with you. So as we, uh, enter, as we, as we near Aquarius, um, Capricorn and Aquarius, there's going to be a big shift, not Capricorn and Aquarius. I'm sorry. Um, Saturn and Aquarius, there's going to be a big shift in terms of mentalities. And I feel like this shift is going to be more on, um, your sense of others than your sense of self. Do you see how crowning your energy is letting go and then centering your energy is being playful? Is keeping things shallow? Like keeping things in a place where you're not stuck and nobody can trap you down there. Be here now. This is Libra energy. Are you guys dealing with a Libra energy? I got major Gemini energy in the romantic tarot. Check that one out. It was pretty intense. So there's three plus four, the energy of seven, creation. See, this is you've spotted something beautiful. This is you've spotted something that you almost thought was unattainable, that you didn't feel... Like maybe you never would have even looked at it before because what was buried and what was dirty and what was uh, seedy and underneath was comfortable for you because that's what you thought you deserved. This is a sense of looking up and seeing the ideal and now realizing the, the sunlight that's on your face is the same sunlight that's on their face. So there is an interest here, this ideal, this beauty, this sense of gorgeousness, this sense of tranquility, the sense of suck, suckling on the sweetness of life, um, and really uh, feeling um, like the world is yours, like you, you really could have everything. Even if you're homeless and on a cot, there is a sense of, but I... I do deserve better and I can deserve better. A real sense of balance and stability, but there's also partnership in this card. Uh huh. Creating a partnership, creating a beautiful partnership. I don't say this is particularly romance. I won't put that label on it unless I'm absolutely sure, but I gotta say there is some heavy nuances here. Love is all around. Now I can say that it's romance. Uh, four plus one is five, there's a change. Here, this is also Gemini energy. This is a sense of one-on-one -on -one communication, being able to actually speak or make communication. You're, a communication is being initiated. Finally, you're free to be able to talk to who you want to talk to. Believe in yourself. And this is you planting the seeds, maybe literally. Um, this is you planting the seeds, Scorpio. This is energy of three as well, because... Um, 57, five plus seven is 12, two, one plus two is three. That would be the energy of three, which is 
uh, the Holy Trinity, the Blessed Trinity, body, mind, and spirit all working in conjunction with each other. Once again, believing in yourself, a sense of pure purification of the self-image. And this is Virgo energy, so it's also communication. You're reaching out, you're talking to somebody. I'm serious. You're like, you may be making first contact with the person of your dreams this week. You're the one reaching out to them because something tells me there's been this energy of wanting them for a long time, but not knowing how to approach them or feeling good enough for them. This is communication, 100%. And it could have to do with music or song. We've gotten this energy before. Maybe you're dedicating a song to them. Maybe you're singing a song to them. Maybe you hear a song and you think of them. And so you call them and plant the seed. Hey, how are you? You'll feel how much they want you through the phone. I guarantee you. Um... This is energy of take the lead, but it's in reverse. And I love this card in reverse because it means you're planting your roots. And what does it say? What I say, you're planting your seeds. You found some place where you want to stay and grow. You're, you're the one that's taking, but you're taking the lead here. This is an energy of five plus eight, which is four. Oh, no, no, I know. I'm, uh, it's 13. Uh, and one plus three is four. Rooting earth energy stability grounding yourself um this is you it's it's you making the decision i want this i want to be here this could be you making a decision to up the ante in your relationship you could have gotten married even if you didn't tell anybody you could have gotten married or you could like i said be getting out of a relationship that was more about serving their desires than your desires and now you're planting the roots where you want to be but it's you. It's about your action and your decision. The miracles are endless. You're the chosen one. You're the selected one. Or you have made a choice, a selection of a specific individual to share this bounty with you. There is fortune and benefits coming your way. Um, believe me, anybody who you call, ring the bell to. They're going to want you. This is also Taurus energy. Embrace the in-between. That's in reverse. This is Libra energy too. So no, you're not dealing with the in-between. You're not dealing with ambiguity anymore. You're making a choice and you're making a decision. You're deciding between one thing and another. And let it shine also in reverse a sense of... Um, you know, usually it's a sense of feeling muted, a sense of not being heard. But in the presence of all these other cards, to me, this is almost like keeping something a secret. You know what you want and you're just going to do it. It's not about making a big announcement. It's about this acceptance of uh, the acceptance inside of yourself. It's the understanding of who you are you don't no one else needs to know and it's not even like i'm well no I, I think there is a sense of i i don't need to tell anybody else i have everything that i want and i'm going in the direction that i need to go and i wouldn't be surprised if you could just walk up and leave like like get up and go and leave and like move across country and set up shop and not even explain yourself to anybody this is a sense of i'm prioritizing who i am right now and who I am and what not I need doesn't need to explain anything to you. That's your grounding energy. So let me flip this around or you can just go to the link below. And right now you can go to the extended video. I do hope to see you over there or hang tight. I'm going to review the cards over you. Hold on. I love this energy for you because it's hard for you to get to this place and you only get to this place when you've been through so much pain, you know that you can't hurt anymore or learn anything more by any more pain. This is a sense of you've tormented yourself, you've tortured yourself, you've harmed yourself, you've hurt yourself so much that ultimately you've learned, you've purified yourself, you've learned everything that you could and now you're done. No more gnawing on my heart because guess what? My heart is made of spirit. My heart is not made of flesh anymore. You've eaten the flesh. You've taken it all away from me. You've, you've digested it and you've, you've pooped it out the other side. But ultimately, that was never what my heart really was. My heart is spirit. My heart is soul. My heart is pure energy. And so that's what you're walking on with. And you're not explaining yourself to anybody. This is a sense of, of deciding where you want to take root, making a decision to get out of limbo 
limbo out of this in-between place where you were staying, um, maybe you weren't ready to move on. In other words, something has become very clear to you. Where your abundance lies has become very clear to you and it could have been because of some uh, investigative work, some undercover work, some undercovering what was underground. Stuff is coming out. Things that make it very clear to you that it's time to move on and it makes it easy for you to move on. You could have just found out a truth about somebody, a truth about their manipulation, a truth about they were stealing money from you or they were like, they were, they were more into, they were more shallow than you realized. And it's almost like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I don't need that in my life anymore. Like the, the truth has the undercover work worked and it's, it's, it's up, it's, it's uh, unveiled what you needed to know to be able to let go, right? And now you're skipping on the shallows. You're not caught or stuck underneath anymore. Cause it's almost like your mind, Scorpio, was trapping you in and of itself. You were almost part of what was holding you captive. You're not captive anymore. You're you're like dancing uh, dancing in the tulips. You're tiptoeing on the lily pads. And this is a sense of why it could be because you finally heard from somebody that you really wanted to hear, hear from, or you finally found out. Uh, decided I'm going to communicate with somebody that I really need in my life. I don't need this old stuff anymore because the old stuff was revealed as stuff that I, I don't even want anymore. Something that some, something to that effect, this energy of communicating with a new love with something that you find very attractive, very beautiful. It could be an opportunity, right? It could just be going for your goals, whatever inspires you making that one-on-one -on -one personal connection with them and announcing announcing um your presence uh, just announcing talking speaking speaking to them to take to uh plant some seeds and to uh build a future with uh with this new interest okay this is a sense of finally leveling out and feeling peace with who you are that that calming down almost like a truce within yourself to understand i don't need to be whipping and bleeding and burning every single day in fact i can heal now i can i i'm okay it's like you're over this part of your life and now you're on to i really do think it's because there's inspiration coming to you you might hear from somebody this week that you have thought was lovely forever. You might finally make a connection. It could be friends of yours coming in and making that connection for you because they know that you, they know that you're interested in this individual, but simultaneously, uh, it's it's like it, 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 it was it was it was like you were never able to gel or connect. Well, guess what? The connection is being made now. But it had to wait till you were away from this other circumstance. I want to get more details. I'm going to go over to tarot, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. And if you really do, let's go on and we'll continue. We'll continue the reading over on the extended. Scorpios, I'm going to look into where you're, what, what is the situation? Like, who is this person? Who is the situation? What are you interested in? Like, I'm just going to flesh out a few more details. And then we'll go into your romance reading as well. I'll see you guys over there.